Who loves an old fashioned declutter? Hey guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So what we're gonna do today is I am in my office and I am going to be decluttering the rest of my makeup collection. I have a declutter for my eyeshadow palettes that I did recently and I've bought quite a bit of new makeup in the new year and I am itching to get rid of some stuff. I already filmed this video and the footage looked horrible. <laughs> So, I'm going to redo it. Alright, I will go ahead and leave timestamps down below. If you don't want to see all of it, then you don't have to. I will put it down below. Anything that I find that is going to be, that falls in line with Project Beauty Share's rules for donations, I am going to go ahead and donate them to Project Beauty Share. I think that they're doing some great work for women out there. You can donate makeup and toiletries as well. I'll have their... Website linked down in the description box. They've got rules and uh, what you can donate and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to try and make this as fast as possible because it's a lot of stuff, but I need it out of my house. So if you want to see me donate some stuff, then stick around. Let's have some fun. Okay, so starting out with my foundations. Um, this CYO Life Proof Foundation in the shade 1. I never finished this. Um, I liked the finish when I first got it, but uh, they they discontinued that. This whole line is discontinued, which is what I'm trying to say. And I feel like I, I bought it in the spring, and I feel like I didn't wear it for the summer. It was too thick for me, honestly. I'm starting to get to the point where I prefer lighter coverage. Well, I don't say lighter coverage, but like thinner consistency of foundation. And, and this was just too thick. You know what? Okay. I feel guilty about that. So, I'm obviously I can't repurchase this, but I'll keep it around. I'll finish it up. There's not that much left. I really ought to. There's only like that much left. Um, the col color match is not the greatest for me, but I should. Pr I liked it well enough. I, so, I'm going to keep this and it's going to go... To this side, if I'm going to declutter it, it's going to go over here. So I'll, I'll keep that and finish that up. Okay. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Glow Moisture Glow Foundation. Um, I hate this. I have it in the shade 120 Buff. I hate the finish on this. It is very light coverage. That's fine. I don't mind that, but it is streaky. It's not glowy. It's not moisturizing. It settles into my pores and my fine lines, and I can't stand it. So I've only used it like one time. I hated it that much. So I'm going to donate that and see if somebody else wants. This is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. Um, the only reason that I use this because of I have dry skin, and this doesn't really go well with my dry skin but I will put this on my cheeks and it will cover where I have acne scarring and hyperpigmentation for filming and things so I'm not going to repurchase this um it doesn't really serve me except for like one area but I will finish it up and use it but it's just not a favorite of mine okay this is the Misha perfect cover BB cream in the shade 23 I already finished up an entire bottle of this in the shade 21 and I love this BB cream. I absolutely love it. This is my holy grail. For your information, this does not have a very dark shade range. This is much more yellow. I mean, they're all gray toned, but this is a much better skin match for me than 21, which came off a little bit pink, but my skin is a little more nice, nice. It's a little more yellow, so I'm going to keep this because mwah, chef's kiss, I love this. I'm going to get rid of the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in the shade Pearl. Uh, a lot, I, you know, I have a, It's my skin is pale, but it's kind of yellow toned, but all of the Too Faced foundations are way too yellow for me. Also, I, I like the finish on this. This is great, but it breaks me out. It breaks me out hard every time I use it. So 
I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. I like you, but you don't like me. So bye-bye. For my, these are my two primers. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. And this is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Sorry if you can hear my baby. He's waking up from his nap. All right. So here's the thing. They're both pink, right? They serve the same purpose. So there's that. And here's this. I like this one. This blurs my pores. My foundation looks great underneath there. This is new. I know a lot of people like this, but I don't like this. I think it makes my makeup look worse, and I don't like it at all. So I'm going to declutter. I'm going to declutter this, but I'm going to keep this. I think I'm almost out of this. I like their silicone based primers, but I didn't like that. All right, I have four concealers here. I have two of the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Beige and Light Sand. Um, I don't like these on my under eye. I have fine lines that this settles into. It's, it, it, it accentuates the dryness I have under there. So what I ended up doing was using this on my eyes as eye primer. I have two different shades because, <laughs> you know, when you don't shade match correctly, you go get another one. Uh, but here's the thing. I really like using this to my eyeshadow, but this is so incredibly old. I think I bought these in like 2017. So like these are at least three years old. So it's time for these to go. This is my collab concealer in the shade one porcelain. I It's rubbed off, but I really, really like this. This is super hydrating and I like that about this. The only thing is that I don't think it gives me good coverage. I have like the worst dark circles you have ever seen. So while this helps with my dryness, it doesn't really cover the dark circles. So I like this. It'll stay in my Yes collection, but you know, just like every other person out there, I'm on to find the next new thing. So I'll keep it. And this is a mini size of the Stay Naked Beyond, no, st ugh, I can't even read it. Stay Naked Correcting Concealer in 20 CP. Now, I thought this was going to be a color correcting concealer. Like, it would be pink toned because that was the box looked like. It said correcting. No, it's not. It Does it stay like it says it does? Yes. Does it cover my dark circles? Not really and it doesn't help my dry under eyes. So I, I like the fact that once I put it on, once I like dab it in, it won't crease on me, but it doesn't do anything for my dark circles or my dryness. So I'll finish this up, but I'm not gonna repurchase it. So for brow products, I've got a couple here. I, I recently decluttered a lot of my pomades and I didn't film it. I just wanted them out and gone. And I've also finished up several uh, pencils. So I don't know why I kept some of these around. But anyway, this is the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. I found this pretty useless. I have really like stubborn brow hairs and the I guess the way my eyebrows sit on my bone, it takes a lot of oomph to make my eyebrow hairs go anywhere other than where they want to go. And this had like minimal hold. I never finished it so it's old I don't use it it's going away I also have the Glossier boy brow in brown and I really like this little guy it does a great job of holding my I oops sorry holding my eye, eyebrow hairs where they go and I like the pigmentation it's really really pigmented so I have to wipe a lot off of the brush before I use it but um, I am super happy with that, so I'm going to keep that. But I'm going to give away, because of, I like the boy bra so much, I'm going to give, well, this is old. I'm not going to give it away. I'm probably going to just toss it. The Essence Make Me Brow in the shade... Da, 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 da. Blondie Brows. This was back when I had blonde hair, before I started dyeing my eyebrow hairs. It gave slight pigmentation to my brows, but see, I have a lot of sparseness in there where hair just doesn't grow and if you don't have eyebrow hairs this doesn't gonna really do much for patchiness so I'm gonna declutter this 
but I'm gonna keep this. This is the Glossier Brow Flick in Brown. Um, I got these two together as a set, and I love this. This, you can make like little strokes, you can make big strokes, do whatever you want. This is much, much thicker than my Urban Decay Brow Blade that I finished up. I like the pigmentation more. It doesn't dry out like the other one did. And I, because it's stiffer, I can get a lot more detail work done. So I'm gonna keep that and I'm probably gonna repurchase this. I like it that much. So for blushes, I have the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach Blush. It's, it served me for a time and I really liked it. It was nice, it was shimmery, it was fantastic but it is starting I mean it's got hard pan it's barely showing up the pigmentation's kind of gone and it's old I like the smell the packaging is super cute but I can't just keep something because the packaging is cute it's sitting here in my um my makeup collection rotting away so as much as it pains me I'm gonna have to give her away this is the Pacifica coconut blush one is beaming and one is tender heart. I think this is beaming and this is tender heart. I Really like this shade here It is like an, a perfect like brownie peach And I'm starting to really like my cheeks to not be like super super pink all the time. I like a kind of uh, more brown blush and I think I got this in like an Ipsy bag a long time ago. I will use it until it dies. I like it a lot. Now let's do the these real quick. You can see I have three Becca blushes here. Camilla, Songbird, and Tiger Lily, which is, you know, orange, uh, mauve, and bright pink. I think these are, especially if I put these two together, these are really good when mixed together. Uh, replacement for my pop it on peach blush I love these finishes of these blushes so much there's Camilla songbird and tiger lily they're gorgeous so I'm gonna keep all three of these I use them every week these are the two like cream products that I have in blushes. This is an e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip. It's super, super pink, but I, it is so old. Like, I don't even think they make this anymore. This is kind of a highlighter, but I use it as a blush, and I've gotta give this puppy away. She is ridiculously old. She's gotta go. This is a newer product to me, though. The Milani liquid blush in nude flush i am super impressed with this formula and this coloring like if you can see that um i love it i absolutely love this i think i'm probably gonna pick up more shades of this i don't have the flower beauty blush bombs or the glossier I've tried the Glossier and they were okay. I think this is a little bit more um, opaque necessarily than what I've seen the blush bombs be on people, but the pigment payoff is fantastic. So I like that, I'm gonna keep that. Okay, it's bronzer time. Uh, I can't get the sticker off. <laughs> I tried to get, you'll see in my highlighter. All right, it's gonna stay on. <laughs> That's my point. This is new to me. This is the Revlon Skin Lights Prismatic Bronzer in the shade Sunlit Glow. And I am a humongous fan of this. This is great. It's very golden bronze. I love the tone. I used way too much of it in a video the other day, but uh, I'm gonna keep this. This is, I can't recommend this enough. I can't wait for summer to get here. This is great. The L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronzer in the shade, uh, 
there's not a shade, I don't think. Okay, so this is a more cool toned bronzer for me. And I, it, I love this formula. This glides on the skin super easy. And when I want a more cool toned look for bronzer on a day, I will use this one. So I'm gonna keep this. But I'm gonna give away these two. Ugh, my nails, sorry. So, okay. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and this is the NYX. It's an eyeshadow in taupe. So these are the only two bronzer contours that I had for an entire year. Uh, but I didn't even hit pan on either one of them, as you can tell. And they're old. So I, I never used this. Like, it just doesn't get done. It needs to go. This one I did use, and I really liked. But... It's old and I want to try more formulas out there. Would I recommend the Chocolate Soleil bronzer to you? Yes, uh, but for me, it's time to move on. All right, this is the NYX Total Control Drops. This is actually marketed as a foundation. This is the shade Deep Sable, but I use this to darken up my foundations if I get a tan or I've self tanned and it doesn't that I have found compromise the integrity of the formula. So I'm gonna keep this, and I'm also going to keep the Physicians Formula Sculpting Bronzer. This is a cream product. I used it all over my face today, and I'm really liking it. I've heard this is a dupe for the Milk Baked Bronzer Stick, but I've never tried that, so I can't attest to that. But this is this is good. So I'll Okay, so for highlighters, this is the Broken Wet n Wild sh highlighter in Boozy Brunch. Um, it's a gold highlighter, but I don't reach for this very much anymore. I, this shows a lot of my texture, and it's also not the best shade match for me. Maybe when I self tan, which I don't do that much anymore, it would be, but I don't use it near enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. I'm also gonna declutter the L'Oreal Lumi Glow Amore in Daybreak. It's really <sighs> pink toned. It looks nice. I just don't ever wear it. So it's gonna go. This is an ambient lighting powder from Hourglass in luminous light but it is way too dark for me to use as its intended purpose so I will use this as a soft subtle highlighter instead and I really really like this no makeup makeup days this is my best friend so I'm gonna keep that I'm also gonna keep the wet n wild uh, highlighter mega gold highlighter in blossom glow this is like a the only pink highlighter that I own and I really like it. It's a nice addition to my collection, so I'm gonna keep that. Uh, I'm another thing that's broken, but I'm gonna also keep the NARS Duo in Orgasm and Hot Sand. This is my favorite color highlighter as far as tone and formula is concerned, and I've almost hit pan on it. I like it that much. I like it more than the blush, but they go good together. So I'm gonna keep this. All right, my Becca highlighters. Oh. You're gonna see this in a second. Oh, we got a problem here. <laughs> My Becca highlighters, vanilla quartz shattered. So, um, no, I'm not gonna repress it. I liked it, it was unique to my collection, but I wasn't in love with it enough to do that. So I'm gonna just have to declutter her, unfortunately. I am also gonna declutter opal. This shade is way too dark for my skin tone and it makes me look dirty instead of glowy. So I'm going to declutter the declutter this. I am going to keep Moonstone. However, I've hit pan on it. I love this shade on my skin. It is gorgeous. I'm going to keep that swatch on there because I'm going to swatch these two in a second. So I'm going to keep Moonstone as I love her. Amrezy and the new Skin Lights by Revlon in Daybreak. Yeah, this is new, guys. Tried to get that sticker off. 
Instead of using alcohol, I accidentally used fingernail polish remover, and you can see what happened to it. But no harm, no foul. Okay. When I picked these up, I thought these look a lot alike, but swatched, I think they're different. So here, like I said, like I showed you, here's Becca's Moonstone next to Amrezy and the new Revlon. They all have slightly different undertones to them, and I like their formulas. So I'm going to keep all of these. By the way, if you haven't gone out and picked these up yet, why? Why have you not done that? This is a fantastic highlighter. I haven't stopped using it since I bought it. I highly recommend it. So liners and mascaras. Uh, okay. These two white liners, this is a Maybelline Lasting Dream Drama white liner and <laughs> old school NYX crayon in milk. Okay, these are both really old and I don't line my eyes with white anymore. So it is time for these to go. Bye bye. I am going to keep this Rimmel, uh, what's it say? It's rubbed off. I don't know. It's from Rimmel and it is in nude. And I will line this on my waterline if I feel like I need my look to freshen up. So I'm going to keep this. I am going to declutter the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner. I was looking for something that I could tight line with. And I have yet to find anything, anything that I can tight line my eyes with that doesn't transfer onto my skin. I don't just mean my waterline. I mean my skin. I look like I slept in my makeup. So... If you have any other recommendations for me, I've tried the Milani one and a couple of others. Uh, maybe I just need to go to actual pencils instead because I have such bad luck with these. So I'm going to have to declare that. All right, I have two NYX Epic Ink Liners. I have the shade... Where is it? This is brown and this is black. I love black. This is the only liquid liner I've been using for years. Not, not this specific tube, but this kind. So I'm going to keep this. I know I like it, <sighs> but I hate the brown. Here's the thing. The brown is not opaque. It's streaky. It doesn't go over shadow very well, and it doesn't even go over my skin very well. And I was really let down because I like the black so much. And I hate this one. So I'm going to declutter this. Okay, the this is a gel liner, Maybelline Eye Studio in black. It The cap is kind of broken, if you can tell. I just broke the cap, though. The, this didn't dry out because the cap broke. But it's dried out. And I've given it a lot of love. I really like this. This is the... I like to put this under liquid liner, but it is dried it's dried out and starting to get sticky and it's just time. I've had it for a really long time. So I will repurchase this or maybe the L'Oreal one. I'm not sure, but it needs to go. I can tell you right now, let's do this. All right. I'm getting rid of bad girl bang. This was the Ulta's birthday gift this year. I had tried it like last year and I remember not liking it, but I didn't remember why. Well, now I remember why I, it, it really coats your lashes and it's pretty goopy. If you like thick lashes, you might like this, but I don't. So I'm going to declutter it. I'm going to keep these three. Um, Super Curl I really liked, especially on the bottom lash line. So I'm going to keep this. And these two are newer to me. The Full and Soft by Maybelline and the Snap Scara by Maybelline. Full and Soft, what, what I've come to realize is I really love fluttery lashes on the top of my lashes. I don't like them to be very um, voluminous. I'd rather them be flurry, if that's a word. And this is great. I really, really like this. So I'm going to keep full and soft. And Snapscara is supposed to be um, made without wax and easy to remove. And I find that that is true, especially um, I like it because it's a lot like the full and soft, but just a little bit more. So if you want a little bit more oomph, then you should try the Snap Scare. I especially like this on the bottom lash line. Um, it doesn't transfer onto my my skin. So I'm gonna keep both of these. Okay, so these are my primers in single shadows, or stacks if you will. Um, let's start out with eye primers. 
My NYX glitter primer is fantastic. I use this every single day for shimmer shades so that I don't get any transfer, so I'm gonna keep this. I'm also gonna keep the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. I really, really enjoy this. It does a great job and it's cheap. But, okay, this is the e.l.f. Putty Primer. There is no um, cream. Yes, there is. I take it back. In cream. I'm told there is a, this is a dupe from the MAC Paint Pot. It's, I need to play with this more. So far, I'm not super impressed with the dryness of this. I have to go into this a like six or seven times to get the coverage and, and spreadability that I want. So I'm going to keep this and keep trying it. And in my next declutter, I'll decide if I'm going to, if I want it or not, but I'm not a hundred percent sold on it, but I need to do, I do need to give it a fair shot though. This is the bomb voyage single in, um, I can't even begin to tell you what that says. But I got this in like an Ipsy a long time ago. It is a really pretty shade, but oh, you can see it's like crumbly. Um, it's, I never use it and it's really old. So it's time for me to declutter this. Okay, I have two Wet n Wild, oops, you can tell that it's broken. Wet n Wild singles in creme brulee. Um, this peppy's done. And I'm not gonna press it and like keep using it because it only cost me a dollar. So, uh, hit pan on it. She's done. Thank you so much. Love you so much. So much so that I bought a new one. I use this to set my lid, and it's my favorite. So I'm gonna keep it. This is an essence shadow in the shade Snowflake, I believe. Yeah, Snowflake. Um, uh, I don't have anything else like this in my collection. And I don't use it like a whole, whole lot, but I do have a specific use for this when I, like I did a 4th of July look with this. And so when I do use it, I do like it. So I'm going to keep it. This is not an actual eyeshadow. This is the Ciate London Bamboo Bronzer in Palm Island. I didn't like this as a bronzer. I thought it was too red for me. But I really do like it as a transition shade for when I use single shadows. I do get a lot of use out of it there and I like the tone. So I'm going to keep this as a shadow. And I can tell you right now, the rest of these I'm keeping. Uh, the Kaja Bento Eye Trios. This is the, the Stack Chocolate Dahlia. This is gorgeous. I was pleasantly surprised by this. Ew, you can see what happened to my nails when you do your nails and then your baby needs you. Um, this was, speaking of my baby, this is gorgeous. I am, I am really liking these Kaja stacks. This is the stack Toasted Caramel. Um, they are wonderful. I will use this one specifically with my Natasha Denona Biba palette. I think they go great. This one all by itself is becoming a quick favorite of mine. I'm gonna keep these. And these are my Hourglass gl Scattered Light Shadows. Uh, Vivid, Blaze, and Aura. Let me swatch these for you. There's Vivid. Blaze. And Aura. I love these. I love all of them. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep them all. Baby feet! <laughs> Say hi! <laughs> so the last category I have here are lip products. Um, starting, ew, yuck. Okay, starting out with my liners. I can tell you right now, I'm gonna get rid of these two. This is Rimmel Lasting Finish in a Thousand Kisses. I just, I don't wear lip liner a whole lot. Um, so I can't justify keeping this. And also, this is the Jordana Easy Liner in Rock and Rose. I don't think, I don't need this either. I'm not going to keep this. Nothing against, against their formula. I just don't use lip liner all that much. The exception is, 
I do use, this is the Maybelline Color Sensational in Clear. And it's retractable and I really like that. If I'm gonna use bullet lipsticks, uh, a clear liner is gonna be perfect because I'm gonna have to buy a ton of liner. So I'm gonna keep this. I'm also gonna keep the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in True Red. Um, because I have a couple, well, I have, well, one. I, I, my brighter shades really do match this. And I, with a really bright red pinky lips, I really need a liner that's gonna actually line the lips. This is necessary. So I'm gonna keep that. Let's start with, we'll do my bullet lipsticks. Um, this is a Maybelline Spice for me. That's the point. I don't know what kind it is. It's orange. I love burnt orange shades. It's creamy. It's fantastic. I'm keeping it. I am going to declutter this Bite Beauty lipstick in the shade Chai. Uh, I never reach for this. I just don't. It's not my color. And it doesn't wear very long. So I'm going to get rid of this. This is the Maybelline Matte Lipstick in 650 Nude Embrace. It is what I have on my lips today. Oh, I love this shade. What I have figured out is I love nude lipsticks that have a brown rather than a pink undertone to them. So I'm going to keep this one. And I already know I'm going to keep this too. This is the L'Oreal Paris Matte Lipstick in Color Reach Matte in Mattitude 806. Ooh, look at that tone. This is gorgeous. So I'm gonna keep both of those. Okay, I have two lipsticks here that I think are act like they're pretty much dupes. This is the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Trust Me and the Flower Beauty Petal Pout Matte Lipstick in Wild Azalea. This is supposed to be pink and this is supposed to be like bright red if you can see the difference there. But if I swatch them on my hand in the lighting that I have, maybe you can tell a difference because I couldn't. Once you put it on, maybe if it's sheer, you know, maybe this might have a little more pinky tone to it, I don't know. But uh, I am a red lip novice and the shape of this skinny little thing here is much more beginner friendly. So I'm gonna keep the ColourPop one and I'm gonna get rid of the Flower Beauty one. Two. L'Oreal Color Riche Lipsticks, Sparkling Rose and Strawberry, uh, Lacquered Strawberry. Um, I don't ever use these. I actually don't like this formula. If you like super sheer lips, you might like this, but I felt like it tugged and pulled on my lips and uh, it accentuated the dry patches and I just never reached for them. So I'm gonna declutter these. This is a Flower Beauty Petal Pout Lipstick in Naked Blush. You can't get this on Ulta's website I checked but you can get this on their their website it is a peachy like pinky nude and when I'm wearing a more pink look I do like this their formula for these petal pouts are really good so I'm gonna keep this and this was a Sephora like $25 point perk this is pillow talk by Charlotte Tilbury and uh, I totally get it baby this is great i love this i love the formula i love the shade i love everything about this and when i'm out of this i'm gonna purchase the big size of this so i'm keeping this uh this is the dose of colors liquid lipstick in stone it's a mauve this is my favorite formula for lip liquid lipsticks and i love it i'm gonna keep this i'm also keeping the rest of these uh this these tones are similar, so I'm gonna go with this one first. This is the Give Me Glow Liquid Matte Lipstick in Dirty Blonde. And it is a great brown, brownie nude. I like this formula, and with gloss especially on top, this looks great. I'm gonna keep this. And I'm, honestly, guys, these are all three, like, the same. <laughs> the same color, pretty much, but the formulas are, are pretty different. The Too Faced one is a plumping gloss, and this tone, honestly, is actually super unique. 
I, I haven't found an exact dupe ever. So I'm gonna keep this one. The Maybelline Globe Trotter is supposed to be a pretty good dupe. I'm getting like this stuff everywhere. Pretty good dupe for this, but I find that it's just got a slightly more orange tone to it, whereas the Too Faced Gingerbread Man is more red. But I'm gonna keep that, I like that formula. And then this is the Gimme Glow Liquid Lipstick in Dirty Pumpkin. You can tell that that's not the same. This is a an orange with a brown undertone to it. So I really like all three of these. And I'm gonna, I mean four, sorry, and I'm gonna keep all four of them. Next thing I'm gonna do is my glosses. Um, the, okay, these are my three dose of color lip glosses in That's Cool, Jazzy, and Messy Bun. Um, these are super opaque, and you know what, I'll swatch them for you, just because, hey, we love swatches, right? My, my hand is like really dry now from all this, but here is That's Cool, Jazzy, and Messy Bun. These serve me well and I love them. I love them. I'm gonna get rid of this um, Tardis Glossy Paint. I don't like this formula. I, okay, I have this. This is the new Dominique Cosmetics Latte 2 glosses. I also have it in a brown shade called Java. It's in my my purse right now, I'm not gonna go get it. I'm gonna keep that one, I really like that. And then this is Cream, Creamer, which is really good as a topper shade. So I'm gonna keep those two as well. Oh, we made it. All right, friends, if you stuck around to the end, good for you, thank you so much. That is all the things that I am gonna keep and give away and to a good cause, again, Project Beauty Share's information will be listed down in the description box below. If you like this video and you wanna see more of these from me in the future, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave. I'd love for you to stick around and see other kinds of videos that I have for your YouTube entertainment pleasure. Be kind to yourself out there today, folks, and I will catch you later.